And Satan is the one that wants to, you to live in fear, okay? Because if you don't know that these vaccines are connected to end times biblical... So everyone is entitled to their religious beliefs, and as long as someone's religious beliefs don't directly affect me, I usually leave them alone. But there's an interesting dynamic when religion meets anti-Semitism, conspiracy theory, and dog whistles. And that's what that video was. I'm going to show you something. You may have to pause, but I want you to look and see, can you spot the dog whistles? Do you see them yet? They're right there in the captions. Fake alien invasion, one world order. And the interesting thing that happens with conspiracy theories and dog whistles when they mix in with religion is many people who use them had no idea. This person could be very anti-Semitic or could be a conspiracy theorist religious person. And that's one of the purposes of dog whistles. The main purpose of dog whistles being that people can use them to help identify and speak in coded language without notifying the general public. But they're also crafted to appear benign so they can work them into modern day mainstream aspects of people's lives, such as religion. By doing so, they can get people who would never normally defend anti-Semitism, racism, bigotry, or conspiracy theories to defend it for them. You mix in the anti-Semitic conspiracy theory of a Jewish cabal attempting to control the world and pull the strings behind the curtain into religion, and people will defend it. It hides the creation of that conspiracy theory being rooted in anti-Semitism under people going, Oh no, that's not anti-Semitic. It's religion. It's the Book of Revelations. But in reality, no. It's an anti-Semitic interpretation of the Book of Revelations. The New World Order conspiracy theory can be traced back to the 1903 book published in Russia, The Protocols of the Elders of Zion. A very anti-Semitic book that basically states that Jewish people align themselves with Freemasons to attempt to overtake the world. Even then, that conspiracy theory existed on the fringes of society until around the 1990s and really kicked off with Pat Robertson publishing a book in the 90s about the New World Order. Taking a very anti-Semitic view out of the fringes of society and trying to work it into mainstream Christianity. And now it's so ingrained in mainstream society that people will ignore these types of anti-Semitism claiming it's just freedom of religion. Even the non-religious arguing, yeah, it seems crazy, but that's just their religion. They have the right to believe that way. So see how dangerous dog whistles can be? As for that fake AM invasion tag, if you guessed QAnon and further New World Order conspiracy theories, you'd be right. So remember, continue to call out dog whistles. Don't let them become more ingrained in our society than they already are.